For this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uncrate your new Chinese scooter. This one's a Taltal ATM 50A1. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get started. So normally these come strapped to a pallet with just three big metal ties, and you can use uh, your set of wire cutters and cut the metal ties and then move the box off the pallet. Once you get the box off the pallet, of course you just need to cut the top open. It's easy usually to cut the side. Just make a slit down it. Make sure you're not stepping in too deep and cutting your scooter, and then kind of peel the box. Once you get the box off, you'll see you've got a bunch of metal ties holding the scooter and various parts of the scooter in place on the crate. You can untie these, or the easy way is just to use a pair of wire cutters, snip them off. So I'm going to start, the wheel is tied up right here on the top, so I'm going to start by getting that out of the way. Just cutting the three cables that are going to it. Okay, then you should have two cables going across the front here through your uh, steering stem. Cut both of those off. And then there's two back here on the uh, luggage rack. And then there should be one down here that's holding this uh, the front headlight and gauge cluster assembly. Just cut that and get it off the Once you cut those ties off, you should see that there are a bunch of bolts on the very bottom of the crate, and you're only concerned about the ones on this very bottom rail here. And you can see there's a group of them on both sides of the crate. Now you need to lift the top part of this metal crate off and just be as careful as you can not to hit your scooter. It's got some plastic around it, but you still don't want that metal scraping up against it any more than it has to. With the top of the crate off, you should see you've got some parts laying in here. Sometimes they'll be strapped down. These aren't. So just take these parts out and set them aside. Now you should see you've got some metal ties around your brake levers and your handlebars here. So just cut both of those off with your wire cutters. Carefully cut the tape and cut some of the plastic. Get this bubble wrap off of your uh, headlight and handlebar assembly here. Just be really careful not to cut the paint. You might want to tear it from anywhere near the paint. Once you get that pretty much out of the way, you want to pick this up, turn it around. You should see this here will go onto your stem, the steering stem, and just set that in place. You're not trying to assemble it right now, right now just getting it out of the way, so just set that in place. Then you can start getting more of the plastic out of the way, cutting it off the rest of the scooter. Once you've got the plastic off, you should be able to see that you've got a metal tie here that's on the uh, kickstart lever, one around the wheel and tire, and one on the other side on your exhaust. You'll need to cut all three of those off. Now you should see that the only thing securing your scooter is a bolt going through the front shocks here. I take, grab the rear luggage rack here, and you'll pick the rear wheel up and just set it off to the side so the scooter's kind of setting at an angle. You set it down, make sure you're holding on to it, and then you've got to use your foot, pick up on the back a little, and push this center stand forward. And it should be able to sit there. Okay, so I'm going to take this nut off the axle. Once that's off, you may need a uh, rubber mallet and possibly a punch. You're going to want to just pop this axle out of here, but when you, uh, when you pop the axle out of this frame, you got to be ready to support the weight of the scooter a little bit. It's on the center stand, so you can uh, kind of just tip it back, but you've got to be ready for it. So go ahead and tap that out. all the way out there you can see the scooter kind of wants to tip up on its own. I just like to go ahead and position it over something to hold it. Like you can see you don't really need it but I just like it just in case. You'll want to remove this axle. You will need the axle. You won't need the nut. Also I forgot to note when you take the front axle out you want to be careful not to lose the spacer that's on the front axle because you will need that later. Once you've got the scooter free from the crate, you should find that the keys are in the ignition. So just pull those out. There's a little keyhole here. Put the key in there, twist it, and then you can pop your seat up. Under the seat, you've got an owner's manual, your front fender. 
should have a box that's got your uh, mirrors in it. Some hardware, toolkit, part of your center stand. This one's got a CD from Tao Tao and your battery. You can just set those all aside and you'll be ready for assembly.